Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I do have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I found a few things from the Dollar Tree and I also found quite a bit of things from Dollar General. So I'll go ahead and do the Dollar Tree first and then we'll switch right on over and I'll show you the things that I got at Dollar General today. So if you guys are not subscribed, consider subscribing, click that little notification bell so you guys will be notified of all my future updates uploads. Let's jump right into this haul. The first thing that I did find from the Dollar Tree is another Sunday Rain product and this time it is the Exfoliating Soap Bar and in this scent coffee and vanilla. So this bar wasn't in the makeup section. It actually was in the bins that they have with all of the other like bar soaps at the Dollar Tree. So like your Olivale and stuff like that. That's where I did find this. And then the next thing I did find some more hard candy makeup. I know a little while back, Dollar Tree was getting in a lot of hard candy makeup. Well, today I found stuff that I hadn't seen before. So the first thing I got is the 12 hour smudge proof felt tip eyeliner. And this is what the package looks like. And I did the only color at my Dollar Tree was the brown color so I love using the ultra fine tip that's one of my favorite eyeliners um I love liquid eyeliner as well so I was kind of excited to find that one next up we have another eyeliner this is a stay in line 12 hour waterproof mechanical gel eyeliner this also has a precision tilt tip and it has a built-in sharpener and it has a smudger so I'm kind of excited about that one this is what it looks like and the only color that I did see was in black so we have that one and then another eyeliner this is the creamy mate soft glide long wear eyeliner um this almost looks like a crayon to me like an eyeliner crayon and this is what the package looks like. Let me open up. I'm kind of curious on this one, you guys. Just, just so we know. Yeah, this one looks more of like a... Can you see that point right there? That's what that one looks like. And then... Oh, oh no, did I break it? Wait, does it have a little? Oh, I don't know about this one, you guys. Uh. Okay, I don't really. Mine's, I think mine's dry. Because this is. It's not really doing much of anything except just... <sighs> well, that's sad. Says it's long wearing and a soft glide. It doesn't do nothing. That's... Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. I would again I probably got a dud just like the cream if you guys watched my review and I the oh my gosh the creams that I hauled from the um, global beauty care I got bad one I got a real bad one because it smelled the stench was it smelled like I don't know fish and it smelled real bad so I'm getting duds over here you guys Okay, so I'm going to test these out right now. Let me open them up and then um, we'll test them out just to make sure because that was really disappointing. Okay, open them up. So this is the waterproof stay in line. Let's see. Let's see, you guys. It broke off. What is happening over here? I am like... Okay, that's probably a me thing. Hold on. 
Okay, that one, can you guys see that right there? That works. That looks good. That, that, um, I'm having so many problems today. <laughs> I can't get it together but yes this one works it's not dried out it did nothing like that other one and then we have the precision tip and let's go ahead here I'll just oh yeah okay these work good we are good to go because that's what that one looks like right there okay I'm glad I opened them because I was just kind of you know you never know you never know so those work the this one right here the soft glide I mean it's soft glide it doesn't show up it doesn't do anything so I think I got a dud so oh man oh well and then the next thing that I did pick up I did find some hard candy uh, just glow this is the rose glow highlighter and this is what this one looks like and I don't know if I've ever seen this one before and if I did I might have give given it away because I don't have it in my in my collection so let me just swatch this too so that I can kind of share with you guys what it looks like can you guys see that highlight right there that's kind of what it looks like and then here is the highlight if it'll show up that's what it looks like so be on the lookout for new hard candy i've never seen these before this one i might have you guys let me know if this is new or not but uh it's always nice to have name brand products come to the dollar tree all right so next up i did find the salon selective heat protectant i hadn't seen this before and this is tropic tropical coconut oil um used with heat styling tools and this is what this looks like i don't even know does it even smell good i always oh that actually does smell pretty good because some of these heat protectants, they smell pretty gross. But uh, yeah, I have never seen that, so I decided to pick that up. I mean, we can always use that in our house. Okay, so next up, I did find two new journals. I love when Dollar Tree gets these in. So this is Project 123, a daily creativity journal for expressing yourself in lists of three. And so this is what the... the the uh, front of the cover looks like and this is just so stinking cool so it says lines for like inspiring poems um conversations i've always conversations i'll always avoid tough topics i wish i were better at discussing i mean just so much stuff um oh my gosh i mean you name it oh it's just tons of like stuff in here so I thought this was super cool and it just keeps going and going and going and everything has three so how to learn from a mistake step one step two and step three I just thought this was the coolest thing and then it does have a little ribbon right there so you can know what page you left off on so i did pick this up i do not know how much oh wait no yep it says it retails for 14.99 and then another one that i thought was really pretty so inner ramblings a journal and does it tell me how much it doesn't tell me it's behind this one's behind the sticker and i cannot see but it says this journal belongs to and then it's just super cool it's uh just all this stuff right here i mean i love these type of journals and when you can get them for a dollar i think that is really amazing it looks like a really fun journal so I did pick up that one and then I did pick up a cookbook I know do I need more cookbooks probably not but I did pick this one up it says Sasha and good taste recipes for bites feasts sips and celebration and this is what this book looks like and I just something about a cookbook I am obsessed with I just 
I love it. So she talks about tips and tools and just, you know, stuffed jalapenos. I mean, just, it's just such a, such a pretty book. So I did pick up that one. And then another interesting book, you guys, this one's so cool. So if you love Jim Henson, it's the Jim Henson Journal. Look how cool this book is. Oh my gosh. I just thought this was so great. This retails for $29.99 and it's basically a journal. It gives his like drawings and then it talks about it. Um, 1998, just all this stuff. I think this is a pretty awesome book. The Muppets. How cool is that? So yeah, I had to pick that up. So right now my Dollar Tree is, they have so many books. That's what their item of the week is. Every Dollar Tree is just jam packed with books right now. So hopefully I know books are so hard for some of you guys to find. So I'm hoping that you guys will be able to find at least the journals or something like that, but definitely be on the lookout for for books and hopefully your Dollar Tree does get them in. So this is everything that I got from the Dollar Tree, but you guys, I found some amazing stuff at Dollar General. So let's go ahead and switch on to Dollar General. So Dollar General right now is really stocking up on their spring items, all their garden stuff. So they were still stocking when I went in today, so I'll definitely have to go back and see what else I can find, but I fell in love with this. So basically it's just a, just a plant holder. This was $3.50, but it says California Route 66. And I just thought this is just the coolest thing. So I figured I might put this in my son's room and maybe put like a, you know, a flower or something. I love to put fresh flowers in my house, especially if I can, like all the rooms because January, February, March, it, I mean, I live in Oregon and it rains all the time. So fresh flowers and greenery in the house really just makes it feel so much better you know makes the cloudy skies a little bit better I don't know I just I love fresh flowers so I picked that up they did have other colors as well so if you didn't like this one they had a blue one I think a yellow one and a no a red one I think so yeah I was like three dollars and fifty cents I think that's so cute I love that so I did grab that they do have new face masks for Valentine's and I thought these were so great so they have the child's mask and these were two dollars they're two ply, two ply breathable durable washable and look at that oh my gosh isn't that so cute my daughter is obsessed with anything like masks that have like kitty faces on them and dog faces so I thought this one would be so stinking cute for her and honestly I've had these masks in the past and they really work and they they feel good they're um I'm dropping everything they feel good and they're just really comfortable but oh my gosh look how that I just think it's so cute and then it's not super stretchy, but it's stretchy. Uh, they are made in China, just in case you wanted to know, for ages three and up. And uh, but they're nice and they're nice and soft. So I bought that for my little daughter. And then they had a few for the adult. So I love this one that has the kiss face on it. I just think this one is really pretty. And then this one has the hearts on it as well let me just open up one so i can share with you guys kind of the difference it's basically the same thing except here is the heart one and then the adult ones are more stretchy so these are really amazing i have not had one single problem with them they're just, they're just soft and um, very comfortable. And so I just figured I'd pick up more because I lose, anybody else lose face masks? It was raining the other day and I lost a face mask. I went to take it off and I thought I had put it in my bag. I guess I had, I dropped it or something. I, I am losing so many face masks as of late. So 
Now that'll replace the other ones I lost. So yeah, definitely be on the lookout. So another thing that I did pick up, and this is something that I get all the time, highly recommend this if you're looking for a new deodorant. This is the Speed Stick and Irish Spring. This is the all day dry 24 hour protection. And you get two of them for around $3 and I think some change. So really, really inexpensive. And this stuff I love. This is my husband's favorite. I now wear it because it just, it holds me up. I don't sweat. It just, it is awesome. So if you're kind of looking for a different deodorant, I, at least works for me and my husband. So highly recommend that. And like I said, the price is really cheap, really cheap. So we always get that at Dollar General. Then I came across the Lucky Soft Soap. Now I know that the Dollar Tree does get in Lucky Soap, but this is the Clementine and Honey Hand Soap. So it contains olive oil and aloe vera. And this is what? The, oh, this one's hard to show, but this is, this one smells so, so good. So I decided to pick that up. And with the soap, I found a personal care item that comes into the Dollar Tree as well, and Dollar General gets it. So this is an insect repellent, but it's plant-based, and it says it lasts for up to two hours. Has anyone seen this, and does it work? Because somewhere around April, we start to get kind of the bug special if my son's playing baseball. We kind of get eaten up by mosquitoes and stuff. So you guys let me know, have you tried this and does it work? So hopefully it does, but I figured I pick it up since I saw it and then one around April, I have it already and I can just put it in my bag. If, uh, if we can play baseball again, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be able, I'll be ready and hopefully it works. Okay, and then the next thing I did find, I have been wanting one of these forever. So I've seen these at, oh my goodness, I mean all over. They have them at Walmart and they have them at Target. I love these. I just, the little key holders, I used to have, I have one that I've had for like 27 years or something like that it's it's an old 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 one a ring and i uh i'm glad that they brought these back i love these so now i can replace my old one and these were only three dollars so i think it was a little i think this is a little cheaper than even walmart's but I just picked up the animal print and yeah, I just love these to put you put on the wrist and then you have your keys right there. These, this is awesome. So I picked one up for me because I was like, yeah, I'm so excited. I get to replace my old one because all my old one is is just a metal one and it's nothing cute like this. So picked up that. And then the last things that I did pick up, if you guys cannot, cannot find these Shopkins, like coloring books and well they're not really coloring books but they are like create and play i hauled two or three if a little while ago if you can't find those at the dollar tree head to your dollar general because you guys they have them at dollar general so and they're all a dollar so this one is seek and find and then um you have a little shopkin in there and then this one's kind of like the the same one that I did pick up, but they didn't have like a little shop in there. So basically you kind of find your, your Shopkins and then you have the little stickers right there. But I think for a dollar, that's great. Next one is super cool because it is 3D little Shopkins. This is a dollar as well. And everything, look at this, it pops out. And then you have like your floor, you do have stickers as well. And then all these little guys pop out so your kids can play with them. How stinking cute is that? I could not believe that. Little shopping, little baskets and stuff. And everything's, like I said, 3D. Another little play area for your kiddos. So that, 
that right there for a buck I think is amazing I don't know how much it yeah it retails for $9.99 you can get it for a dollar the other one that I just show, shared with you this retails for $7.99 so if you've got kiddos that love Shopkins, run into your Dollar General. And then this one I paid a dollar for as well, but it retails for $7.99. And if your kids love stickers, I mean, it's chocked full of stickers, but in the back, it's an activity book. So this is so good for so many things. So it's all little activities to keep your kids busy. So if, when we start to travel again, or you know we're waiting at restaurants or what have you i mean i love this doctor's appointments and stuff i used to take all these type of things and put them in my bag and then i would have something if my kids were bored and if you didn't like shopkins too they had a whole bunch to pick from so they had like seek and find avengers and so they had so much to pick from and all of it was a dollar they also had coloring books with crayons that were for a dollar so definitely check your dollar general out because you're saving so much money on this stuff especially if you buy it because 7.99 9.99 and you're paying a buck i mean this is why i love I love shopping at these places because we can get really good stuff and we can make our budget stretch and that is, I'm all about that you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so very much and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.